What's up YouTube, welcome to another video. This episode is all about things to know before you visit Krakow, Poland. Krakow. Krakow. They speak English very well. Now, I'll admit I was one of the first people to think that uh, I'm gonna need to know a lot of Polish. Now, don't get me wrong, you should definitely try to learn some Polish, the basics. It's really helpful and the locals appreciate it. But they speak very good English. Uh, I know maybe some of the Polish people might comment, no, I don't think we do. You do, because um, I don't speak that much Polish at all. Uh, apart from hello, thank you, goodbye. So if I wasn't able to speak English, I would struggle. And thankfully, the locals do. So we ourselves have to appreciate how good they are. So you'll have nothing to worry about. You will have nothing to worry about for someone was stalking me. You've got to be careful in London. Okay, tip number two. It's just my opinion, but I think location is everything. I think you should be located down south towards the Jewish quarter of Kazimierz or Kazimierz however you want to pronounce it. I think it's a much better idea and the reason being is because you are away from the center but you're walking distance to there so I don't think it's that great to be situated right opposite a McDonald's or a Burger King and when you stay at close towards the Jewish quarter you won't see any of that you get to see that part of town and also you can venture into right in the heart of the, the center whenever you feel like it. So I think location is everything, especially for that reason. The second reason is because when I stayed near the train station uh, in November, I was completely lost in terms of where to eat. You know, kind of my surroundings, well, I was a bit off because usually I stayed where the Jewish Quarter section is. And it's much easier, there's always plenty of like local restaurants that I've been in, uh, cafe, and you get familiar with your surroundings. And I think near the station, everything was just, you know, Burger King, McDonald's and pizza. And obviously I don't want that. And you get forced into eating in those places. So I think location is everything. And my advice for you is to go a little bit further down in Krakow is much better for your experience and you can always walk to the madness that is the center of town. Okay folks, the next tip I'm gonna give for you is venture out. If you visit Krakow and you've got more than two days, even if you've got two days actually, spend one day in Krakow, 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 Actually, before I say anything, someone commented that I didn't say crack off properly. I'm sorry. If you've got more than two days, hopefully, visit Tarnow or Tarnoff and Nawahuta. You cannot miss these two places. They are fantastic because you get something different from both. You have more of like a Soviet feel when you go to Nawahuta and when you go to Tarnel, from what I saw, it looked like certain parts of the city looked like south of France or the south of Italy. It was very um, surprising that I saw, but equally very interesting because both of those places have so much history. You'd be mad not to visit those places because you can see Krakow in like two days, but those two places are very close. Now Mahutu is probably about 15, 20 minutes in an Uber and I remember it was fairly cheap but as you can see the scenes from here, it is definitely worth it. Check it out. It's something that I noticed only now in November and that was the pollution. So in terms of a tip, 
I don't know if I'm completely right about saying this, but I'm gonna give you my opinion anyway. And hopefully if the locals see this, they can comment below because they all have a better idea of whether this is true or not. But I've been to Krakow twice in the summer and I didn't notice anything. And I'm talking about the May, June uh, periods during the year. I didn't really notice anything. But this a few weeks ago, so like basically in November, I literally couldn't breathe in clean air. All I could smell was car fumes, just kind of like dirty air, very thick. And it was like every day when I was there for a week. So I'm not sure if this is because it's winter, because usually when it's summer, you've got warm air, it's more difficult. And that's when I thought that I would notice it. But there was, yeah, there was a lot of pollution in November. I'm not sure if that's a, if that happens every single year. But if you are from Krakow, let everyone know. Comment below and tell me what you think of whether I'm correct or not. It's just something that I noticed and thought that people who are visiting should be aware of. Okay, my next tip is for the Brits only, because I know you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. When you are in Poland, especially Europe, I'll say Europe, you can't cross whenever you feel like it. You literally have to follow the traffic lights. Whereas in the UK, London, whatever, when there's no cars and the traffic man sit is red, I'm still crossing. If there's no cars, I'm crossing the road. But here, in Krakow, they don't like it. Trust me, uh, you get some funny looks. So if you want to blend in, if you're black, you ain't gonna blend in, but you know what I'm talking about. If you want to blend in, do what the locals do. So there's just a few basic tips for any beginners who are planning on visiting the city, never been before, just a few things to be aware of. It is very affordable. People do speak English very well, so that won't be a problem. The two places which I recommended that you have to see, which is only a one hour train ride, or it's a 15 minute, 20 minute, uber ride very very important places for you to visit and just something that's a little bit different that completes my week in krakow for the krakow series and next week the start of the year i'm going to be going to a very interesting city folks that's it from me don't forget to check out my krakow series and that's it see you on the next video which is next week as always be good be kind and be careful peace